Welcome Internet Players to the Payback 2014 edition of the Roll the Dice's Pay-Per-View Review, hosted by me, the Wrestling Shuffler. Before I get into it, to the Rolling Up the Dice's Review for Payback, I'd like to give a very deserving shout out to a the channel that I recently found there on YouTube, Wrestling Wise, and that's called Dirt Sheet Mania, hosted by The Voice, Greg Anderson, where he talks about a number of topic, topics related to British wrestling indie companies, TNA, and WWE. He presents this podcast alongside with his friend, the director of creativity, Kyron Smith, from what I've read about the description of your channel. He's, he delivers a certain wealth of knowledge and perspectives about wrestling as well, and he was a WCW uh, fan back in the day. So, I saw your recent work, a bit, uh, your recent podcast that had uh, Lauren from Wrestling and Lipstick. A little shout out to you, girl, as well. I hope you do return to make videos on your own channel. I've seen a little bit of, your, of the Dirt Sheet Mania's channel. Yeah, I personally found, yeah, this guy's are chilled, they they seem fun to watch, they seem fun to talk to, and I like them, so I'll give you a shout out. Now, I suggest you take uh, these guys to uh, check out as well, I'll leave the description for that channel right in the description down below, I'll leave the links and all that cool stuff. Now, check them out, Dirt Sheet Mania, Wrestling Lipstick Lauren, Keep up the good work. Do all your things. You're doing good. Now, it's time to roll the dice on Payback 2014 review. Now, from those of you that are watching this for the first time and don't actually know the concept, it's like this. From the number that these dice are rolling, I'm gonna talk about what I thought was overplayed, well done, what I got emotional in my behind, and what I didn't like about Payback 2014. Now, let's start rolling up these dice. Uh, what I thought was overplayed about this edition of Payback. Time to roll up these babies. Okay, let's see what they got for me. Damn, wait. Ten things I found overplayed. A uh, segment between Daniel Bryan and uh, Stephanie McMahon released the title or not. That was overplayed. I saw that last week. The result between Air versus Sale match with El Ornswoggle and El Torito seems like something I already seen in Extreme Rules mixed with. Uh, the Donald Trump versus Vince McMahon WrestleMania 23 kind of thing. I didn't saw the match, but from what I've read, it seemed like overplayed to me. First thing I found overplayed: Sheamus yet again, United States Champion, kicks, Antonio Cesaro wins, big deal. Fourth thing I found overplayed was Paul Heyman. I defeated my client Brock Lesnar. Conquers the yeah, shut up. Five, five thing I found overplayed. John Cena winning against Bray Wyatt. Who cares? Six thing I found overplayed was the interference between Eric Roman and Luke Harper against the Usos in their table crash type of high spots in the last man standing match. Seven thing I found overplayed yet again the Shield. Defeats Evolution, which uh, I believe was uh, Roman Reigns pair the crap out of uh, Triple H. I believe that was, wasn't it? Let me know. Uh, seventh thing I found was overplayed. RVD, just RVD. Eight th ninth thing I found overplayed. I don't know how to count very well, do I? Ninth thing I found overplayed. Page winning again, again, no real thing. Tenth thing I found overplayed was yet another match, but with the exciting turn of Ryback against the Rhodes Brothers. 
Okay, now to talk about what I thought was well done. On Payback 2014. Shut up, these little buggers. Okay, seven things that I thought were well done. The segment between... Uh, I like the way they done the segment between Daniel Bryan and Stephanie McMahon. I think the interaction between the two of them, the crowd really seemed to care for Daniel Bryan in his condition and all that stuff. I believe that uh, Stephanie McMahon did a jab on Sam Punk. That was very cool and part of her as well. Bring up that heel heat. I like that very much. Second thing I thought was very well done. The segment between Cody Rhodes and Goldust. Um, before the match and after the match, I think that simulated well a heel turn, but didn't quite go as well. I like the direction where Cody Rhodes said, you need a better tag team partner. That was very cool. Third thing I found that was very well done, I like pretty much the match between um, Evolution against the Shield. Yet again, that crazy excitement thing to them, I like that very much. Or where especially where the guys from Evolution seem to king Roman Reigns that was very cool. For, fourth thing I found uh, that I liked that I thought it was well done was Alicia Fox yet again after the match very cool. Fifth thing that I thought was well done probably uh, the match between Cesaro and Sheamus. Cesaro yet again with his athleticism and his viciousness really gave the edge into this. Sixth thing that I thought was well done. I thought it, it's very well done when Wade Ballot, uh, what is, uh, turns his arm into red and he pulls the ball hammer. That was very cool. His um, armband, isn't it? Where he puts the red and... Damn! Puts the lights out around Van Dam. Uh. What I thought? Seven thing, yeah, I believe it was seven. It was seven, ah, uh, well, you have another four already. Seven thing I found uh, well done. Uh. The ice spots, I guess, between the Usos and the White family. Yeah, that was very cool, didn't you? Okay. Now, so I'm talking about when I personally got emotional in my behind. About a back. Okay. Let's see this. Uh, five, six, seven. Oh, damn. Seven things. Uh, seven things I personally liked. The car crash elements of the last man standing match. The last man standing match in general, I liked except the ending. I like uh, Antonio Cesaro uh, suplex on Sheamus, although I believe. The, there was a bit of fakeness into it. Fourth thing I like, I pretty much liked um, about this personally was Stephanie McMahon after that had shit on her, had something on her dress that made me chuckle. Fifth thing I liked, Alicia Fox going crazy. Man, that was awesome. Uh, sixth thing that I liked personally liked was the match between Ralph Van Dam and Antonio Cesar uh, uh, Barnus Ballot. Although you may think that Ralph Van Dam already isn't expired, but I like Ralph Van Dam. I think he's pretty charismatic. Second thing I liked, I personally liked um what I personally liked was uh, probably the ice spots or the ice spot that Seth Rollins did in the match. The ice spot when he climbed and jumped all of the members from Evolution and the Shield. That was very cool. Now, to finish off, it's time to talk about things that I didn't like. About Extreme Bro, uh, excuse me, A Back 2014. That's Rubber these Monkeys. Now it's. Okay, five things that I didn't like. 
the ending once again. The stupid, but yet comical ending of John Cena defeated uh, Bray Wyatt. Extreme Rules against Batista. The last man standing was duct tape. This year was put a U for all for box, uh, big box, uh, to not let Bray Wyatt stand up. That was pretty stupid. Yeah, I didn't like. Uh, second thing I didn't like was Sheamus defeating Tony Cesaro. Big deal. Third thing I didn't like the way that Shield easily demised Evolution. That wasn't fun to see. Uh, fourth thing I didn't like was Alicia Fox should have won the Divas Championship. Uh, the only thing I seen from Paige is her screaming, and that's not all that exciting to me. Oh, bear, not from a wrestling standpoint, you know. And that was another standpoint that was could be really exciting to me. Fifth thing that I personally didn't like was hell. Uh, what I didn't like about this probably um, yet again they wasted another spotlight on a damn segment between Daniel Bryan and Stephanie McMahon. Something that I've done over and over and over and over the past couple weeks. I know this is a bit repetitive, but hey, that's the reviews I choose to do. Now, this was my Rolling the Dices pay-per-view review for Payback 2014. I hope you you like this. If you like these kind of games from me, videos, go see the other videos. I do these a lot. Uh, share your thoughts about your dices about payback in the comments in a video game response something if you like this channel support it su subscribe channel join the club talk to me uh, and all that fun stuff share all these things you know the more you share then the more I seem important and for a guy that's making wrestling channels and on YouTube that's sort of a big deal this was the wrestling shuffler and all I got to say is, see you next game. Haha! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, Mr. Shah, see me! Oh, I can't wait when he returns. <laughs>